Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And we are back doing a craft with me on our ring binder journal, our farm journal. So today I want to work on um, our chicken wire pocket and fill it up. And, and then hopefully we can make some leeway. We probably only have maybe um, a couple more videos to finish our journal. So, um, we'll just get started. So I wanted to put some, um, some chickens into my, my chicken wire here. So let's just, let me just see if I can find some chickens. Okay. So I found some chickens and we're just going to look through here and see what all we can use. on our barbed wire, not barbed wire, chicken wire, it's chicken wire. So I thought it would be super cute to um, maybe just dangle a few of these somehow on the chicken wire, maybe just tie them on. Um, maybe kind of like little pendants or something. So let me move some stuff out of the way over here. We don't have entirely too much goodies in the way over here. Oh, now this might be a cute idea. These are um, like little chalkboard pieces. Like, so it might be cute to put our chickens on those and hang them on here. Oh, I think I like that. Okay, so let me trim this down just a little. And then I think I want to ink around the edges. And I think what I'd like to do is put a big jump ring. So I'm going to put um, a little, I'm going to punch a little, a little hole. This is a small hole punch. I got this at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. And it works really well for tiny things, see? Just a little tiny hole punch. Let me grab, I have some large size jump rings. Um, here's one. And I think what I might like to do, I'm gonna sit that right there. Sorry, I know I just jiggled the camera. <clears throat> so I think it'll be cute. To take one of these these flowers I'm still not used to yet okay so I want to take one of um, my jewelry dangles and put on here so let's find one that we like I don't want it to overwhelm the rooster, the little picture of the rooster, so I just want a small one. Let's see if we can find a little one. Okay, I kind of like this one. And even though it's long, it's super cute. Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, and then I just want to put, maybe I want to put it this way. Okay, like that. And then I just want to loop my jump ring through. Of course, it all fell apart. <laughs> okay, let's try again. All right, so we'll put this on first. Oh, oh, my sunshine just brought me coffee. Thank you so much. Yum, yum. I'm excited. Okay, that was a lovely little gift. Made my day much better. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try this again. 
might be a little tedious, but that's okay. And I hope the lighting is okay. It's a little bit dim in here today. It's kind of rainy, cloudy. And so hopefully the lighting is okay. All right, I just want to make sure I get all the way through my twine on there. Okay, so now I'm all the way through. And so I'm just going to close up my junk ring. Did y'all hear it click? Hopefully you heard it click. That's what you want to hear when you're putting things like this together. Because when you hear that click, it means you've gotten a good hold. Um, or a good connection on your jump ring so that your stuff that you've put on it doesn't fall through. Okay. So now... I want to tie this on to a piece of a chicken wire like this. It's tiny, but I think it's going to turn out really cute. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot. And I'm not going for a bow because that would just be way too hard to get a bow. Okay, because it's going to be hard enough just to get a knot because this is a very small piece of twine. Mm hmm see not very easy to do okay so now I'm just going to tighten up this knot and make sure we get a good tie okay there we go oh I like the way that turned out that is cute okay so now, I don't want to overwhelm the chicken wire with things, but look how cute. It's the farmer and his wife. Okay, let me see. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but this one here is um, a rooster and his wife. <laughs> I wish it was bigger. I got this from a digital kit from, um, oh gosh, I saved the little piece of, here it is, I saved a little piece of thing from Crafty Vintage Digital. It's called Farm Fresh, and so that's where I got a lot of these little um, uh, chicken images from. All right, so maybe we can do a white, some white chickens. And we don't have to do them all with this. I mean, maybe we can put some fabric in behind this one. Maybe we could do a little fabric and then something hard on the back just to kind of give it a background. So let's, um, I'm gonna close up my journal jewelry before I spill it everywhere. Um, and let's find a pretty fabric. Ooh, we have some seed sack fabric. Let's see what colors would go. I like this one. That's pretty. And that would be pretty up against the roosters. Let's see what else we have. You know what? I already have this piece cut. Why don't we just use it since it's already in the journal? Okay, so we could go this way with it. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that right there. I'm going to tear that little piece off. Get rid of our strings. And I want to ink the edges of this one. So we can put that on there like that. Okay, I like that. And then just put something on the back to give it something to sit on. So, um, and I actually think I can just use like a little scrap piece of paper. So I think I am going to use my Fabri-Tac on this. <coughs> Excuse me. And you know what? Before I get ahead of myself, I should probably find a piece of scrap fabric. I mean, scrap paper 
that I can use. Okay. I think I'll use this. And the reason I think I'll use this is because um, if it does get flipped over, you know, it has something pretty on the back side as well. So let's see. So we're just going to cut here. Okay, and then we'll cut about right here, I think is good. Yep, I think that's going to work. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put our glue onto this piece first. Did we ink that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I probably put too much glue, but that's okay. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and lay our fabric down on our paper. this one and I like that a little bit of that yellow shows through okay let's see uh -oh. I'm losing things over here Let me pull my journal back down. Hopefully, y'all can see okay. Okay. And then I think I'm trying to decide how I want to attach it here. Because I, it, everything doesn't have to dangle off of it. I mean, I could get real tedious and stitch it on, but if I was going to do that, I would have to hand stitch it. So maybe I do just need to <clears throat> punch a little hole here. I'm not sure if this will punch through the fabric, so we're going to see. But it might because we have the paper, the fabric's kind of sandwiched in the paper. So it might work. Hey, it did work. Look at that. Okay, so now I have somewhere in my little pile over here, I had an extra little piece of twine of the jute twine. There we go. Nope, that's not it. There it is. Okay, so let's try. Let's see if we can get this through this little hole. I don't know that it'll go through the little hole. We may have to punch another hole. Maybe do a little bit bigger of a hole. Okay. Okay, let's try that. Hey, that worked. Awesome. Okay. So then, we're just going to weave this under here and this one we may can tie a bow I'm not sure oh you know what it would actually be super cute I'm trying to decide if I should punch a hole in this other side I think I will And I think I'm going to have to get a longer piece of twine. Hang on a second and let me grab one. 
Okay, and the reason I said that is because there's I kind of have an idea. Okay, well we've got beads stuck <laughs> to our twine here. Okay. I'm just going to get a good size piece of twine because it doesn't matter if we have extra left over. Okay. Sorry. If I don't do that, I will not never find the end of that. <laughs> okay, and so I think what I want to do come in from behind on each side like this and that way it can kind of sit straight it's not sideways kind of like that yeah I think that'll work okay and then we're gonna go underneath here And then underneath here, like that, and then try and tie a bow here. We'll see how it works. And I don't want to tie it so tight that it's, you know, it's pulling the image up. Just do a little bow. Okay. And then I want to make the bow. I don't want it that big, but I just wanted to get it good and tight. Okay. Alright. There we go. Alright. And then I'm just going to cut the excess off. I don't need a whole lot of the twine hanging off. There we go. Okay. Alright, I like that. I think that's really, really cute. And then the one last thing I want to do is I want to add some vintage laces um, to kind of tie through um, in some spots. So, um... Actually, I might, let me see, I'm just going to tie a bow in this one and see how it does. I don't know if a bow will be too much, we're, we're going to see. My bow is really messed up, ain't it? <laughs> okay. Well, it's a good thing we didn't do this the other day on the video when I first did this chicken wire pocket. We would have been here forever. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. There. I like that. And then I just like some little pieces of really thin lace tied in in different spots so let's just let's see how it'll look but I think I think I really like that with the with the bow tied right there in the center and as a matter of fact it might be too much but I'm gonna see you know we just have to see if it's gonna look good or bad <laughs> Put a little piece there and maybe a little piece down here. Just for a little added something. Like that. I like it. I think we'll leave it like that. I like that. I like the way it turned out. Okay. And so then. I want to put maybe um, some type of, um, yeah, I want something in the chicken wire because it's, uh, 
into pocket. So let's see what we have over here. Okay. Um, these are some of the scripture cards that I made in the Autumn Farms digital kit. Oh, it's not in the Autumn Farms digital kit. I took the, um, the journal cards from the Autumn Farms digital kit and um, I added scripture to them to put into my new um, just it's a new digital kit that just has scripture cards in it so it hasn't been released yet um, but hopefully I'll be able to release it soon I've still I don't have it finished so but let's put one of these in here with the chickens of course Can I have the chickens in there to knock off any white that you might be able to see on the edges okay and so let's put him right there and I don't think we need too much stuff under the chicken wire because um, we don't want to overwhelm it all right so now we have that and then oh, I have where's my tags okay I have been hoarding this tag forever isn't it pretty I love this tag I did mixed media on it and then I embossed it and then I added this um, chicken tag thing and I just love it I just think it's so stinking cute so let's see I think this is what I want it to have for the topper and I think I want it to have a little bit of lace under that so let me just cut a piece of this y'all I'm getting down to the wire <laughs> I love this stuff. All right, so I think I want a piece of wide lace underneath. Let me see what I can find. Hmm. Okay. Hang on just a second. Okay, I found a pretty piece of lace that I want to use. So, if we do it like this, won't that be pretty like that? And then you have the little basket with eggs in it. Okay, so I think I'm just going to staple it. Or you could stitch it if you wanted to, but I don't want to stitch it. I just want to staple it. Isn't that pretty? And I almost think I want to round the corners on it. Yeah, I think I do. Okay. There we go. And so he can go right in here in the pocket. And I just want to leave his little face sticking out just a little bit. So sticky. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think it turned out cute. All right, a little piece of art on the page. <laughs> All right, so for the next page, I don't think there's really anything that we need to do. I mean, look at the farm animals. Oh my goodness, they're so stinking cute. And then this page, I just think is beautiful the way it is, so we're going to leave that. This page, um, I want to do something. Oh, wait. Before we before we go further, um, I have these wonderful, wonderful, my sweet friend sent me this gorgeous box of cards with chickens. Look at how stinking cute these are. So I'm trying to decide. I think I want to do this one in this pocket. And I'm going to put the envelope with it just so that whoever gets it has the envelope that goes with it. In case they want to use it for something other than in their journal. So we're going to put him in this pocket as well. I'm telling y'all, I don't know if you can see how thick this journal's getting, but I just, I stuff these journals so much. <laughs> um, literally, whoever gets it could make two journals out of it. I'm really sorry about the lighting, y'all. Um, 
it's storming outside so it's really dark here so I apologize I was going to try and see if I could move the lamp but I don't know if it will help hang on let me try okay I don't know if that helps any better or not but um all right I think on this page I just want to put a sticker um, there is so much more I want to put in this journal but we're getting really really big and so this is what I do this is what happens going towards the end of the journal I have to start slowing down <laughs> putting stuff in there because <laughs> I get it so full all right so I think I want to use this flower vase sticker on this page okay so let's just put this right here and it just adds a little something to look at on the page all right so we'll put that there and then on this page I want um, maybe something on the edge maybe a piece of this let's put a piece of this just to make it pretty and it kind of goes with the little flower thing over here so we're just going to make like a little tab staple it on okay I love 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 this wallpaper look how pretty that is isn't that gorgeous I love it hopefully you can see the whole thing I love that so much thank you Rhonda for this beautiful wallpaper so we're gonna leave that as is and I don't want to do anything to this because it's already farmhousey so on this one I think maybe you know what, let's just paper clip a pretty little journal card on this one because I don't want to do anything on it. Okay, so we'll add this little cow journal card um, with a paper clip. And we're just going to eat the edges just to get rid of any white spaces from where we cut it out. And that way it just adds a little something on the page. Put it on with a paper clip. There we go. And then this I don't think we'll do anything with. I like it just the way it is. And so I think we'll wait till the next video to come back and put something right there. We'll put something cute on it so for now i'll go ahead and end this video here thank you so much for watching leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment box below don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will and i hope you have a great day big hugs